On Jefferson Street in downtown Toledo sits the dilapidated former home of the Caesars Show Lounge. In its heyday, it was the go-to spot for Toledo's gay and lesbian crowd. Then owner Joe Wicks delighted the audience with his over-the-top drag queen shows. Close friend Lair Scott says that for decades, Wicks did much for Toledo's gay and lesbian community. Joe Wicks was a community-minded man, and the gay and lesbian community in Toledo, especially us older people, um, will remember uh, Joe Wicks' legacy as uh, a community uh, service type person. Last month, Lair went to Toledo City Councilman Steve Steele with an idea on how to honor the life of Joe Wicks. It was our intention to just name the 100 block of Erie Street between Monroe and Jefferson Joe Wicks Way. Um, that was my, my main proposal to Steve Steele. Steele introduced a proposal to rename one block of Erie Street Joe Wicks Way. At least two downtown business owners have voiced their disapproval. The owner of LaSalle Cleaners, which is just a block away from the old Caesars Show Lounge, said he wants to see exactly what is in the street renaming legislation. Councilman Steele believes that Joe Wicks did a lot of good in Toledo. Uh, it, I'm surprised by, by what has happened, um, but, you know, I, I think that, that uh, you know, it, it, the bottom line is uh, I, I'm hopeful that we can find some way to commemorate the, the, the meaning of, of Joe Wicks and the LGBT community, and if there's resistance to this way, um, then, you know, perhaps we can find some other way. No matter what happens from here on out, Lair Scott and Toledo's LGBT community will be marching in downtown Toledo on June 1st. We have a, a gay and lesbian civil rights march that same day, yeah. so we're hoping to at least have something uh, and some legacy for the gay and lesbian community. Hubert Wiggins, WNWO News.